G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Back out on the track and I've got the Lanshan Pro 1 in the pack and also the seam sealing equipment I think I need. So I'll get to the camp tonight. I'll set the tent up and I'll show you what they recommend uh, you do to seam seal the actual tent itself. So see you in a little while. The Lanshan Pro series of tents, the one and two, aren't seam sealed because the material they've impregnated it with the actual uh, waterproofing, so they can't actually tape seal, I believe, or it's extremely difficult to tape seal, seal the seams. Also, we've been stitched to the actual bug net of the uh, vent around the bottom and also the main door, I think that would make it difficult also to use tape to seal it. So what you've got to do is use a silicone. And I've been looking at all the instructions, I've watched a few videos, and I've come down to the actual understanding best is to seal both inside and outside. So if you have gear on their sites, you open it up and I'll show you all the points where you need to seam seal it on the outside and where they recommend it, highly recommend it that you seam seal certain points on the inside and also they recommend that you seam seal all the main uh, stitching points on the inside as well as the outside so what I'm actually going to do is what they say I'm going to seam seal on the inside and I'm going to seam seal on the outside now uh, I've started walking today and it's trying to rain so I suppose it's probably the best time to get it done before the uh, wet season comes in so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to start on the inside I'll show you all the points that they recommend or highly recommend that you do and all the points they rec other points they recommend that you do inside and out Setting it to 125.
ready for seam sealing now and this is what I'm going to be using to do the seams with and the one you want to make sure you get is the one where it says plus sill at the end here and this I think it's called a, a dental syringe is what we're going to put the silicon in so we can just gently push it in and put it down the seams now <coughs> I've never done this before, so it's going to be fun. I've seen the way most people have done it, and um, how can I put it? It annoys me a bit with the finished result. So I'm going to do my best to do this as neat as possible and as invisible as possible. So we are going to see it down the seams, but I want it to be as little as possible. I've seen people where it's gone like 5, 10 mil either side of the seam, where they've used the brush, which actually comes with this. They've used the brush and brushed it all the way on and it looks a bit tatty to be honest to me plus if the wind blows and any dust that will stick to the tent and it'll look disgusting and probably damage the tent with packing it away all the time so I'm going to do like I said as neat as possible into the seam and I'm going to start on the inside so I can then close it up and as I pull the door the zip down I'll pull it taut so I'll be able to do the main seams on the outside. Right, let's get this open. See? See, that's the brush that comes with it. It's fairly stiff, but as you're pushing it on, it's going to spread out. I'm just going to do my best to get it in the actual seam sealed up so let's cheat a bit and just use the end of the brush yeah you can smell it so I'll put that there because I'm not going to be using it my sound and now let's just fill this up I don't know how much we're going to have left if any just hope there's enough in this tube to do the whole thing. So that's that. And now I gently push that in there. And it's already side coming out. <laughs> Let's turn it upside down and do it, shall we? That's a little bit better. Use this cardboard. Keep it as clean as possible. The main seams they say you should be doing are this one here, the one coming down here, and the same on the opposite side here. These two, that one, and that one. And when you're doing these, they say you do behind as well as on top of the stitching so I'm going to start with the foot end and work my way out back out of the tent I don't want to get stuck in the middle and put my hand on anything but if I do all where the stitching comes around here including the box and the cross uh, they say seam seal down here so where that folds over there I'm going to seam seal underneath and they look very similar on this side where the bug net is I'll just pull that down, seam seal behind and then let go and also down at the bottom there which is similar it's, it's a hem there so I'm just going to go down the top of the hem so it goes into the stitch in here so let's make a start Start with the lowest point first, shall we? Let's pull that.
Well, that's the first one done. <coughs> I'm going to do this one at 30 centimetres up or until my arm stops moving up. See the sealant coming out, and you've just got to adjust your speed of how much area you cover as you go. It's not that easy. Glad I've got some daylight so I can see its shimmer off the cement as it goes on. What I'm trying to do is push the actual fly up with my head and hold the bathtub floor down with my hand. Now, this bit here, all this, where the stitching is, I keep holding my breath and going wobbly. So. Try not to hold your breath. And they said the best time to do this is when it's actually pulled out the sides because if there's going to be any gaps, it's going to be now. So that's that one done. to the top and come down to it. So far we've used just over six milliliters and we're nearly halfway through what I'm trying to do is keep the nozzle pointing into where the stitching is and it seems to be let's rub that in going on easier with it pointing at it So done. <coughs> now I'm going to do this one and work, work my way down here and over that way and out the door. Again, I've got my head on the fly, try and stretch it, and holding the bathtub floor down with my hand, not so much needed doing this bit, that was that one done.
as I'm doing this I'm actually pushing it behind the hem so it gets into the stitching on the inside that's the first six mil gone and all we've got left to do is from here across coming up here and this and that's the inside done so I'm just going to top this up <coughs> and I said six mil I meant the 12 mil so I've just topped it back up and now finish this off at the bottom here where the bug net joins to this pull out and then come down the side here oh and there's a little bit up here where the reinforcement is so I'll do that bit first I can actually see the silicon running off this reinforcement patches that's a bit of a bugger And the only bit left now is up this side where the bug net goes. So I'll undo it this side and then do the zip up when I get out. And I should pull that then to allow the run inside the hem. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is push my head on the fly, pushing it up, and pull the mesh towards me. It seems to be creating a V shape, allowing me to get this straight into the stitches, into the sewing holes, without slipping. So, a lesson learnt. Right, let's come to the top now, and join it. And then I get down to the where I've got up to. Okay, let's, let's do all the zips up. Now you can see the uh, silicon coming through here. So I know it's done properly, it's come through to the stitching on the outside. On the outside at the top here, it's only from this point around to this point that's inside the tent. But I am going to do this seam up here and this stitching around here just so there's no possibility of it running through to the inside and onto the fly and I uh, should say onto the bug net and then onto me. Now I'm going to go down the middle of the loop here that we can use the ridge line so the tent peg, the tent peg, the uh, walking pole inside and down the other side of it and then that gap same there but in that gap where it's rolled over and now down the seam that bit of the reinforced patch done oh I'm actually going to do I think it's got two hands on it Now around the stitching. So I'm not putting as much on the stitches here as I go around, just so I rub it in so hopefully it doesn't run down onto the main body of the tent. I want that looking as nice as possible. Yeah, the temperature's dropping while I'm doing this. So we're going to get some rain in the next half hour. So hopefully it's not too much that it ruins this. Now we've got this running down. I'm going to use this 
where I can, as steady as possible to push it into where the sand of the two pieces together. See the silicon 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 where I put it on on the inside. So we're now going to have a good seal, and hopefully we don't get any water through. I've seen people do this, but there's no point because if it comes through, it's only going to drop down onto the fly. The actual bug net's right up here. But again, you can see this running down. So encourage it down the seam here. Hopefully, these two hands might be easier. I will do a couple, about an inch up here, just to make sure nothing can soak through. <coughs> do the same on this side. Gonna be awkward stretching over to do the stitching on the top. Comes the rain, a bit over your head. Just go along the bottom now where the vent, the mesh vent at either end is, just to seal that one. And it's not that easy because the angle's not the best and the fly keeps moving in and out.
Uh, just finished the seam sealing. I got to the final pull out and the rain came down. So I just brought the camera in, ran back out, finished off that last pull out and I've come into shelter. worth of rain and this is what the seams look like at the moment you can see the silicon in there filling the gaps up a bit of a mess down there let's go over the other side and have a look here we are from here looks pretty decent. We've got one bit here where I did go a bit wide and make a bit of a mess I thought. But still fairly clean. See where it's run there. But all the rest looks pretty nice. Same up here. It's only within a about three, two or three millimeters away from the actual seam altogether that you see it. So I'm pretty proud of what I've done. Same here. And the box says, oh look, we've got a run there. And the actual box, or the back of the packet, says three to six hours. Well, that dark you can see there is the sealant on the inside, the silicon. And this is the one I did when I, it was raining. I rushed that one. And you can see where, because of rushing it, it ran down. That's the first one, like. That one has got, I think, a run. Yeah, a run there. I'll put it on too thick. And that's because I started to rush because of the rain. Let's check this one. Uh, no runs onto the tent, but you can see where it's gathering up there. Wall to wall. Not too bad. Oh, I've got a bit there when. I went underneath here. There. Yeah. Like I said, it's going to get a good testing tonight. What I did with the silicon, I did it on this side and that side and down in between it at the bottom. And I did the same on this one over here. Both sides and in the middle. Yeah, not too bad. We'll find out if the rain continues tonight, if I've done a good enough job. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and shows you how easy it was. I think it took me just over an hour to do the whole lot inside and out. And that's without rushing. So just see a bit of water. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that off. That's a little bit better. Yeah, it took me just over an hour to do the inside and the out, and that's taking my time and doing my best not to get anywhere apart from down the seams. And as you saw, there's only one or two places I messed up. Uh, not too hard. I reckon if I had to do it again, I might be able to do it even better. And next time I won't do it when it's going to rain. Good morning, let's just squeeze this in. I just saw we had rain while we were seam sealing the tent. We had a good downpour for over an hour after. We had some rain during the night. And I'll let you know now, there was no leaks. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you're not a subscriber, 
please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos coming up and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care